Namaste! I show here and I'm still at Kathmandu. It's day 17 of November 2018. Yesterday I went to the Dorbar. Most of the time I've been going to the same uh, similar places but of course different. The best one I've been was Surya, Surya something. I couldn't remember. But it would take you a couple of hours to get there. But then again, you're going to experience a local bus right here in Nepal. Kathmandu Valley is really, what is it, dense. I decided to just throw uh, packs of marshmallow because look at the colors. Look at that, for example. It's pinky. And there's this cream color there. When you get to the monkey temple, you will see this ones. Oh my god, it's like a marshmallow. Okay, let's make Nepal Nepal with this tall buildings, slim buildings, and with these different colors. New, very cool colors. For today, get the motorbike, and then I wanted to go to. For the things I've packed, I cannot, I cannot vlog it here. I thought I'd vlog it when I get back to Thailand. My stuffs are dusty. It hasn't been uh, laundered since I got back. I just dried them the other day and then put them in a the bag. Oh god, I came with just my rucksack and now I got like two or three more extra. So that's it and then I'll check back again later. Namaste! Kathmandu, Nepal, a home for estimated 21.94 million. I've been passing the scenario almost every day for the past five days, but I'm still somehow surprised and blown by its chaotic, busy, and colorful sights of Tamil alleys. Narrow, widening alleys and packed with locals buying fruits, staffs here and there, but they all synchronize harmoniously with the streets of Kathmandu vibes. And like any other huge capital cities, Kathmandu is a different world. which plays a significant role for Nepal in Tibet, 11 kilometers away from the city and it's close to the airport. It was a busy place when I got here. Crowds, local going on with a high beat of the music, colorful prayer flags, shops full of Nepali souvenirs, devotees concentratingly spinning the prayer wheels, wanderers and locals with their down jacket. This huge stupa, when viewed from the top, is like a massive mandala. It's unique and dominates the skyline of Kathmandu. Namaste, and I'm checking back at Budanat. Like, I did it for more than an hour motorcycle drive. Something I missed two days ago after I should have been here, but I forgot. I just went straight to Budan. Who Patan Dorbar Square. It's a huge one. We have our lunch. And later on, we're going to walk around this, this stupa. I've been seeing chow mein on the menu and was recommended, so I grabbed one. It's like a yo-yo circular noodles, chopped with pork, carrots, cabbage, onions, and herbs. Sprinkled with black pepper, salt, and a bloody ketchup. Let's feast! Budanat Strupa is the holiest Tibetan Buddhist temple outside Tibet. It's amongst the gigantic in the world and the biggest in Nepal and the most important pilgrimage and meditation temple. As daily rituals for devotees, they walk three times or more around the Strupa while repeating this mantra Every portion of the stupa has symbolic significance. This dome represents the earth. Buddha's eyes, which are in every face of the tower, the wisdom eyes, the all-seeing ability of Buddha. The nose symbolizes nirvana, 
and an Ipati character for number one. It symbolizes unity and way to reach enlightenment. Above are the nine steps of enlightenment, element of a fire, and a body of water. The pinnacle symbolizes Mount Nero. Tibetan prayer flags are in every corner and believe that it carries mantras and prayers heavenward. Each color signifies blue, knowledge and enlightenment, white, purity, red, love and compassion, protection, green, beauty and health, yellow, This Tibetan mumu made me mouth gossip. For a while, I decided to grab. Holy mother! This is huge and many. It's like a fist sized kind of a shopal, centered with pork mixed with herbs, and the dough is thicker and mushier than the mumu.